I didn't know they could swim. Hey guys, welcome in. My name is Hazelyn and we are in for some Planet Zoo fun. Um, I just got this game and we are starting in on a franchise mode on this channel. Um, I'm hoping that it would be a fun series for us to get into. Um, as well as some snippets of the sandbox map that I'm currently working on. Um, I won't be showing it um, in this episode, but there will be some videos showing what's going on behind the scenes of, of that. And I might, we might even do some habitats possibly for that sandbox. But currently we are just moving things over. Um, I've been watching some videos from um, Ruby, from the Lady Designer, um, Leaf. There, there's quite a few people. Um, Paul's, Paul's Lee, or <laughs> I'm sorry for saying people's names wrong, but um, I've been watching quite a few videos, um, especially since I just got this game, um, you know, a week ago. So I've been really, really excited. But there is a little bit of similarity to it. Um, from playing The Sims 4 and doing a lot of building in that. So, um, you know, I'm not completely uh, green, if you say. <laughs> but we're doing some pathing, and I will say that little pathing trick I just did, I learned that from watching one of um, designer, the lady designer uh, videos. And this here, link is going to be in the description. If you're somebody like me who's very indecisive, I came across this when I was looking. And I think it'd be a cool idea if you're ever like, yo, what kind of habitat should I do? And you can't make up your mind to use that. But as the video says, we are doing aardvarks and meerkats. So that is what we are going to have currently. They are going to be cohabiting together. Um... So they will be in one habitat together. Um, and I'm just trying to kind of figure out exactly how I want it to look, um, as well as how much space I might need. Um, I was gonna put it there, but I felt like it wasn't big enough. So instead, I decided to choose the middle. And while I'm doing this, I'm also trying to figure out what am I going to do? <laughs> I feel like that's always the hardest part when it comes to building, when it, you know, when it comes to even decorating. It's like, what are you going to do? Like, what direction are you going to go in? Yes, both of these animals are from Africa, but, you know, do you want their habitat to be African at the end of the day? Once you actually start to, you know, renovate and get some more money and research some more things, or do you want a different kind of theme with your zoo? So, with that said, I also realized that the habitat, uh, the barrier was actually a little bit too big. <laughs> and that's why we uh, put it down in the middle, because I realized that that was actually too much space. So uh, I made it into two instead of just one oh. giant one. And now I'm checking to see if we got any good ones, you know, their stats and all that stuff. Of course, Shadow's just starting out, so it is what it is. But we're adding some sand, you know, make it a more home element for them and putting in some one-way windows because if you've never had any of the aardvarks in your zoos, um, they do get stressed. If they feel as if there's just too much noise, they don't have a place for them to like go hide or anything like that. Um, they they get they get extremely stressed. So in the meantime, my brain's all over the place. So I'm placing um, some inf an information, something to drink. Um, I think I put down a. Yeah, we end up putting down a gift shop and a hot dog stand, and then again, this path, and again, shout out to Lady, um, the <laughs> Lady Designer. I keep saying 
Shout out to Lady Designer or whatever. I'm tongue tied right now. Excuse me. I'm so sorry for butchering people's names right now. <laughs> um, I will get it together. I will get it together. I promise you. I promise you. Um, but I watched her video on pathing, and that was the first time I ever did like that little plaza. I've never done that. I look. I was proud of myself. That was the first time I did it. Okay, I didn't even practice it. <laughs> <laughs> I was very proud of myself that I captured that. Uh, we got our animals and we're putting them in quarantine. And even though the game is currently on pause, because I forgot to pause it, <laughs> we are working on a a, a makeshift shelter um, for them. Even though they do live in boroughs, you know, and we are going to be placing some burrows for them it's also nice for them to have their own little shaded area for them to go to and then kind of trying to make it look more natural by implementing some more natural kind of supports to go with it And I, while, like, while I'm doing the terrain and stuff, I don't really know what I want to do with this. But, <laughs> so, I'm literally in autopilot mode while this is kind of going on. I know I got to put some stuff that's habitat related. I know I got to put some enrichment items. I know that they need something that's kind of sort of interacting, even though they don't really climb, you know. Um, so, well, I think the beer cats actually can can climb. Well, quote unquote climb, like not climbing like a monkey per se, but <laughs> you get what I mean. <laughs> um, and. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how what what direction I would like this franchise to go and what kind of theme. Um, any suggestions? You could definitely put them in the chat. My current sandbox that I'm currently working on that I, that I will show some bits and pieces on um, is a botanical garden slash zoo theme. So... I don't want to call it a sanctuary because that's not what it is, but it is very botanical garden-esque and I'm taking that theme from just where I currently live. Um, there are very popular, very beautiful botanical gardens and I've had the benefit of being able to have some traveling, you know, in my life and see other botanical gardens from other countries so botanical gardens is kind of like my piece and then to and add you know a sanctuary-esque zoo-esque element to that um i can't wait to see what ideas i come up with and that unfolds and here we're still just putting down some enrichment items for both the aardvarks and the meerkats. And let me just say that I did not realize that the meerkats were so popular. <laughs> oh, meer well, meerkats and the aardvarks, okay? Um, as far as like early game goes, as far as early game goes, okay? Um, I didn't realize they were so popular. I, as you can see, I do have some conservation points. I did do a franchise to begin with just so that I have an idea of what's what's going on. I didn't know that the things that I've already researched kind of carry over, so I thought that that was interesting. Not gonna lie. Um, we're waiting for our quarantine animals right now, and while we're waiting, I was like, oh yeah, let's put some bins. Let's put some donation um, and quiet signs and and information uh, screens up and all that stuff. 
But yeah, I didn't know that stuff carried over. And if you already have it, and if you would like to see more content, please don't hesitate to subscribe. Um, it's turn on the notification. I am trying to grow my channel. Um, you can also catch me on twitch.tv slash Hazelin, same name. Um, I do stream from there from time to time. That is more so Minecraft and stuff. But here, as you can see, we're doing the exhibits. And I didn't realize, I, I didn't realize how expensive the exhibits were. <laughs> I initially put two and then I realized that I was literally under a thousand dollars and I was like oh no <laughs> we still have stuff to buy we got to get rid of this second exhibit so we're just doing one but we're doing the turtles and I've never um well I I click on the the boa over there but <laughs> we do the we're in, we end up doing the turtles um or terrapin as it says uh I never did the turtles at all, so um, I didn't even know how small they were. Um, I, have n I had no clue. I had no clue how small they were. Um, but they end up being like really, really cute, you know? Here I'm putting a speaker in to kind of help with the, um, the ambience, the ambient noises. So again, to help with the stress level, because I do have aardvarks in my original, the one franchise that I have done so far off recording, and they were the first animals I got, and because um, they were suggested, and I didn't know how to search for other animals, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, they're so stressed, you know, I was, did a lot of googling, did a lot of googling. <laughs> And like I said, here are the terrapins looking, they're so cute. And now we're getting part Gus. And, and, I'm, and I'm happy, and I'm happy. So this recording is obviously a voiceover, right? Um, I spent a lot of time with a lot of dead space. So I would have just kept this regular and it could have just been a regular half an hour me doing some gameplay because in all actuality I only did about 15 minutes of work like let's 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 talk about it <laughs> but I didn't know what I was gonna do I didn't know what I was gonna do um so we're just doing some shading doing some terrain stuff because they were not really feeling all that sand okay and I don't blame them I don't blame them okay it was a, it was a lot of sand um, but I didn't want it to just keep it grass because I felt like that wasn't natural either to just keep it all grass like that, you know? And we're checking both the meerkat and aardvarks and I didn't know that they swim! I wasn't sure about the water. I figured it'd be a nice little water source for them to, to quench their thirst, but I did not know that they could swim. <laughs> That really surprised me. And while the zoo was running, we made enough money to be able to put down another little power source um, because this side was without power. So, and I'm just checking the radius to see if it's far enough away. It's touching the path a little bit, so was able to move it in out of the clear. There's these little educator speakers, which I love. Um, I came across those later on into working on my other franchise. And I was like, yo, these are cool. But I didn't realize until I think I was watching somebody else's franchise video. I don't remember who it was. Um, but I didn't realize that you could actually assign people. <laughs> I just thought it did it by itself. I didn't realize it. I was like, oh my God, I gotta go back. Now, right here, just wrapping things up um, as we get near the, the 
end of our little session here. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch y'all later.